Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually compose a very simple insulation tool to help us calculate the insulation uh, over the course of the year on the panels in our building. So if you don't know what insulation is, it's a very typical uh, analysis that you would usually use Ecotech for. It basically goes throughout uh, the year and calculates the angle of incidence of the sun to every piece of geometry and then tells you how much solar radiation uh, is, is falling on that panel. So since we're building this tool ourselves, we can search for insulation and Wikipedia will actually tell us how that is calculated. It's very simple. Basically, look at the ray of the sun and the surface, and if they're at 90 degrees, you assume that's getting maximum insulation. And then any offset in degrees away from that is calculated just by taking the cosine of that degree. Here, if it's at 30 degrees, you actually get half as much insulation because the area where the sun falls is twice that of the direct vector. Okay, so with this idea, um, I'm just going to start building it in Grasshopper. Just like last week, um, we have something we want to do and we just break it down to components um, using what, uh, what exists in Grasshopper to get the job done. So the first thing we want to do is we want to calculate the angle of the sun to the angle of every panel. And this is pretty easy. Uh, we, if you remember, we already have the um, angles of every panel in our system. So here I'll just unhide our geometry again and I'll scale up the solar arc. Okay, so now we have our geometry. We have the panels, which remember uh, are be controlled by this rotation parameter and we have our sun. So you remember last week, uh, we generated the normals coming off the panels as a way to offset notation from the panels. Uh, we can also start to use those vectors um, to calculate the angle of each panel to the sun. So remember we generated this line, which is giving us the normal of each panel. And we're going to calculate the angle of the solar vector, which is here, to each of these vectors coming off the panels. Okay, so we have the normal here, and we have the vector here. I'm just going to drag some of this definition. We're going to reuse some of this calculation. Remember we calculated the normals by evaluate surface. We're going to use that to actually do the angle calculations. We're also going to reuse this visualization component, which last week we used to visualize the area of the panels. Now we're going to use the same setup to visualize the insulation. So drag just this chunk of, of stuff down closer to the solar analysis. So now we have the vector of the sun and we have the vector coming out of each panel. And all we want to do is calculate the angle between those vectors. And in Grasshopper, that's really easy to do. Um, you can type an angle. This is the angle node. And it'll take any vector and calculate its angle with any other vector. So in here, we're going to plug in the normals coming off the surface. So now at 350 panels. And in B, we're going to plug in the vector coming out of the sun. And now we have 350 angles, one for each panel normal. OK, so these angles are in radian. So the closer to 0 the number, the more our panel is aligned with the, uh, with the sun. So we can start to visualize this already pretty quickly. We're going to use this armature from before to calculate our visualization based on our data. So remember we had this min-max setup, and that's pretty nice. We can reuse this for a lot of things because it will automatically um, calculate our ranges for our visualization. So even though before we were working with areas, now we're working with angles, uh, if we plug these angles uh, back into the setup, it should work the same way. Or anywhere we had area plugged in, we'll plug in our new values. So from angle, we'll go to sort, and this will sort all of our angles and give us the minimum and maximum, which sets the ranges of our color uh, gradient. And it will also plug that into the T, which will give us a color for each one. And since this is still connected to our panel setup, everything is still kind of referencing each other. Uh, if we preview this, this will now give us a visualization of the orientation 
of each panel to the sun. So I'll just hide these uh, panels and I'll hide these vectors so you can see that. Okay, so like I said, the closer uh, it's oriented to the sun, the closer to zero the angle is. So that's gonna, that means that we're gonna be lower on our color gradient. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, but we actually wanna convert this to insulation. So we don't wanna keep track of the angles between things. We wanna keep track of how much sun is being captured by those panels. And that's pretty similar. It just involves that tiny calculation that we got from Wikipedia. So each angle, uh, instead of using the angle, we want to take its cosine. And the cosine of the angle will give us the insulation, basically. So in Grasshopper, there's a cosine tool. Plug that in there. And then from the cosine, plug that into the sort and that into the T.